So I've done a few videos and I've never shown you my entire setup process from start to finish. So I'm gonna take you outside. I'm gonna show you the entire process. I'm Kevin Francis, welcome to my channel. So the tripod is the most important start to your astrophotography rig. This is where you got to get it as close to right as possible from the very beginning so you have less things to fix later on. First of all is get the legs out, get it to a height that you can work with. Then you're going to place it north. There's a label on your tripod that says which side should be pointing north. I take my smartphone out and I use the NOAA magnetic field calculator to help me define it closer and closer to north as possible. So once I've done that, then I move on to further stability for my tripod. You see me uh, lining it up to north. And I've got that. What I'm going to do is try to keep it from sinking into, say it's wet uh, and the ground is soft. So I put some wooden plates underneath just to make sure it doesn't sink. Once I've done that, I'm ready to go on to the next step. For long exposure, high focal length astrophotography, polar alignment is critical. So to make sure your polar alignment is as accurate as possible, you got to take the step of leveling your tripod. And so from a hardware store, I purchased the level and I will go to each of the different legs and line it up with the level and make sure that the level as I adjust is showing that the uh, bubble is right in the middle and I do that for all three legs and I do that a several times because as I make adjustments a leg that I may have already leveled it may have changed so in order to verify that it's truly level all the way around you make all your adjustments you verify you adjust you verify until all three are showing level all that's done we move on to the next step to install the mount take it and place it on top of your tripod and screw it into place as you can see with mine I've already got my counterweight installed on the counterweight bar and that's just a time-saving tip once we listen to the sounds of the water in the background as I finish this install Next two items I'm going to install are the polar alignment camera and the telescope. Polar alignment camera, uh, I've shown you how to do that before in a previous video, pretty straightforward. And then install the dovetail bar onto the uh, mount, tighten that down, and your telescope is installed. And if you can manage it, try to keep your polar alignment camera pre-installed so that when you put the mount on, it's already there. Now it's time to power up your mount. So I've got a battery pack that I use. I uh, purchased it at a hardware store. It has a plug for my laptop and three USB ports. Which is why I like it because it has the USB ports. The next what I'm doing is I'm plugging in the uh, power cable for the motor mount, uh, which is already attached to the mount. And then I'm gonna plug it directly into the battery. Okay, so getting to the end, now we install the camera. So I have to take the cap off to install the T-ring adapter to this Canon T3i. And I'm going to remove the 90 degree from the telescope and insert the camera. I'm going 
got three screws on this particular camera or telescope that will tighten it down and hold the camera in place. So now it's time to wire it up. We're going to start with the Canon T3i and get that connected and ready for connection to both the battery and the computer as well as the polar alignment camera get that connected wired up for battery and computer and then plug everything into the battery have it ready for the computer or my laptop uh, when it's time for me to get started open the battery compartment insert the battery adapter into the camera now I'm going to install the USB cable and then I'm going to install the D-Sub connection as well which is what's used as the interferometer coming from my laptop and being controlled by APT. Next is the install or connection of the polar alignment camera. And then finally, connecting all of those to the battery for power. Here's the setup, it's complete. Now yours may be very different, but for me this is ready to go for tonight's astrophotography session. So with that I'm gonna leave you with a sunset and my normal closing is the sky is only the limit when your mind is unwilling to fly. Go beyond. Thanks for watching.